About a year ago today, I talked about the fact that new Mac products are still shipping with only eight gigabytes of RAM at the base model and how not only is it not enough to do basic tasks, it's barely enough to run the modern operating systems. And fast forward to today, approaching the end of 2024, and even on the MacBook Pro, if we go to the configurator, it starts with only eight gigabytes of memory on an $1,800 laptop. To let that sink in, a 16 gigabyte kit of the type of RAM they use costs about $20 in wholesale. It is mind numbing. It is unbelievable to consider that they would have this amount of memory on a device, which is of a premium class of laptops. If we go to the activity monitor and we look at my laptop, which is 32 gigabytes of RAM. Granted, I have some pretty intense applications open like Final Cut, but even with 32 gigs, I'm still going into swap memory use between my Chrome tabs, photo editor, and Final Cut Pro. It is just unacceptable to have a pro tier laptop with these specifications. And only when you go to the 16 inch model, which costs 2,500 and up, do you finally get more than eight gigabytes of RAM. I think this speaks to a much larger issue at Apple where Apple's purposely designing machines that are underperformant to force you to climb the Apple price ladder. There is no world where eight gigabytes makes sense. It didn't make sense 10 years ago and certainly doesn't make sense today. If you look at any other competitor, none of them even offer an eight gigabyte model. And maybe on like Chromebooks or junk machines, sure you'll find that. But this is again at the absolute elite class of laptops or it's supposed to be. I'm just trying to get in the mindset of the engineers at Apple and determine how they could have ever come to this point where they're releasing a device in 2024 and they think that eight gigabytes is an accessible level. Again, the unified architecture means nothing. I understand they say it's more optimized than Windows machines and Linux machines, but it's still not enough. We have, again, an Apple application. This is in-house and with a minor workload, it's using 16 gigabytes of RAM. How can we say that eight is enough? And this is not including the operating system, it's not including anything. I think it's just a small view into a greater systemic issue at Apple where everything they do is so strongly geared towards maximizing profit, which again, I understand is essential at a tech company. You have to make money, but there's no reason why they have to force you to climb this ladder to buy things you don't need. You could have a 16 gigabyte base model and still offer a bunch of much higher end devices. That is not threatened by the president of a 16 gigabyte model at the base. It just simply makes no sense. Allow productivity users to get their job done and allow professional users to also get their job done. We don't need to force people that are just browsing the web and looking at emails to spend $3,000 on a workstation grade machine. It's just not necessary. It's just truly their entire lineup runs this way. It's something that I hope improves in the future, but it honestly seems like it's not going to. And it's just a game of how many more years can they possibly have eight gigabytes as the base? Are we gonna be in 2030 and in the same spot? And I, I know that also once it happens, there's gonna be this big like, oh my God, we're amazing. It's 2040 and we're finally upgrading the 16 gigs of the base model. It's like, it's not worthy of applause. You should have been there 45 years ago. Either way, I'm always so frustrated with the way Apple handles the Mac lineup and it seems like they're purposely shooting themselves in the foot, but you know, clearly they know something I don't. I hope you all liked this video. And if you did, please do like, subscribe and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll see you.